Did Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price sell his office and his vote for nearly a million dollars, cars and property as well? That's the accusation from federal prosecutors as Price's corruption trial started today with jury selection. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has been at the courthouse of the federal building all day. He joins us now live from there. Sean. Hey, good evening to you, Steve. 70 prospective jurors were in the courtroom today from seven North Texas counties, as far west as Johnson County, as far east as Hunt County, as Judge Barbara Lynn seeks to find 12 plus uh, six alternates who can be impartial and unbiased. Before the jury selection process began, the judge told the panel, I know each one of you can do this, adding, this is very important. County Commissioner John Wiley Price walking into federal court to face the potential jurors who will decide his fate. I think the, the jurors, as well as the public, is interested in some answers. But today, Price and his legal team, Judge Barbara Lynn, and the government interested in the answers of prospective jurors. Prosecutors questioned potential jurors on race issues, opinions about John Wiley Price, and if there was no videotape or smoking gun evidence, could they work with circumstantial evidence? Attorney Nick Oberheiden, not involved in the case but observing, says prosecutors are... More looking for the educated, analytically thinking juror that is open-minded to facts and arguments. Price's attorneys pressed potential jurors on politics and corruption, how people felt about the government, and asking if they believed law enforcement would lie under oath. The questions indicating the defense wants somebody that is sympathetic, that is open minded, and perhaps has some resentment against the government and law enforcement in general. And Oberheiden certain Judge Lynn will seat a jury of people who've not reached conclusions about Price, the bad he's charged with, or the good he's done. Despite all the good things he has done, this is a different chapter in his life, and this is the only chapter that matters. And it's a chapter that uh, started being written today with the jury selection process. The jury was not seated today, Steve and Heather, but we did get some insight, both in thinking to the government's case, how they're going to present it, as well as the defense strategy. And one interesting note, a lot of the potential jurors asked this question in the courtroom today, why aren't the companies and the people who paid the bribes, why aren't they charged as well? That was one of the questions jurors had during the voir dire today. Jury selection continues tomorrow. Back to you. Okay, Sean Rapp, thanks.